my dear viewers i welcome you to this particular concept arrays in c language my name is om prakash yadav let's see this is very interesting concept in c language and very very useful so let's see what is the concept of arrays now the by definition array is defined as it is a collection of similar types of data elements that is collection of homogeneous data not the heterogeneous data so what do you mean by this similar types of data so for example suppose i am having 100 students right i want to store students marks so all the marks will be of same type right all the students marks will be of same type now the first problem is suppose array is not there then i'll have to create 100 variables for storing 100 student marks but I don't want to create 100 variables for storing 100 student marks. In spite of that, what I want, I want to create only one single variable and uh, all the 100 student marks should be stored in that particular one single variable. So for that purpose, I can use the array. I can create an array of 100 uh, elements, okay, of size 100 elements and then I can store the marks of all the 100 students in one single array. Now here if you see the marks, is the similar type of data elements right so if you are creating an array of integer type all the data must be of integer type if you are creating an array of float type all the data must be of float type that's why the definition is array is collection of similar types of data elements that is collection of homogeneous data not the heterogeneous data please remember this and why array is used because we don't want to create multiple variables for the same thing okay for the same data type right what we want is we should be only we should only create one variable and all the similar type of data should be clubbed together in that particular variable when array is declared so how it is stored it will be always reserve it it will going to reserve contiguous memory location please remember this so suppose i am creating an array of 10 elements so it will allocate contiguous memory location that is continuous memory location in the computer memory right so if it is an integer data type if i am considering for one integer it will take two bytes so 10 into 2 that is 20 bytes will be reserved inside the memory whether you are going to use in your program or not so be careful why, while declaring the array if if will not use the full uh, memory space then then your uh, space will be wasted right and if you are not uh, you know allocating the proper space then the values will not be stored properly so you need to be very careful as a programmer while declaring the array now there are two types of arrays one is single dimensional array and second is multi dimensional array so if any any uh, for example two dimensional array three dimensional array right so more than one dimension that is multi dimensional array so first we will going to see what do you mean by one dimensional array once uh, we are firm with the concept of one dimensional array then we can easily dwell to the two dimension array and three dimension array so let's see the one dimension array its syntax so how array is declared it is it's a syntax is very simple here we write the type type means the data type this can be integer type float type character type and then the name of the variable so whatever name you want you can give the name of the variable then the square bracket we mention the size of the array for example here we can write 10 5 so if I am writing 10, then this array can store 10 elements, right? And uh, type can be float, character, integer, it's up to you. The name you can choose according to your convenience. So for example, if int marks 100, so here I've taken data type as integer, and the name of the variable is marks. In the square bracket, I mentioned 100, this is a size. So this, basi this statement basically tells that create an array of integer type, the name of the variable is marks and it will going to store it will going to reserve 100 into 2 200 bytes of memory right and all the memory location will be contiguous continuous memory location so wherever the computer will going to allocate it will be contiguous memory location okay now let's see if uh, we try to initialize how we can initialize the array elements so if I've created the array like this, int roll number five. So roll number is the name, int is the data type, and five is the size. So to this array can store five elements, right? So I, uh, uh, with the equal to sign in the same line, you can declare like this in the curly brace. 
one comma two any number you can show one comma two comma three comma four comma five let's say and uh, this array will be initialized it will get the elements like this so the first element will be at location zero right second element will be at location one third element will be at location two like this if if we are if we are creating an array like this int marks and we are not mentioning anything in the square back and we are directly writing 60 comma 40 70 90 and 18 in the curly base then we have not mentioned the size right then also it will by, by default we take the size as the number of elements whichever the number of elements are there at the right hand side of the equal to it will take the same entry in the uh, in the size right so by default we'll take so if you are if you are initializing the array in the same line then no need to mention it's an option no need to mention the size okay if you are initializing the array like this int marks 5 equal to 50 40 70 yeah. then two elements we have not mentioned here so by default those uh, two elements will be initialized as zero right and most of the times many times we require to create a zero, zero uh, array where all the elements will be initialized to zero so uh, this is a simple trick we can use we can write int marks let's say i want to create a hundred elements array so i am saying int marks hundred equal to zero here all the elements will be initialized to zero value how to access the elements so let's take the example int marks of 5 equal to 45 60 30 78 and 90 so here we have declared one array integer type whose size is 5 so it can take 5 elements right now remember this element is present at index number 0 this element is present at index number 1 so indexing of the array will always start from index number 0 so if we want to access any of the element we can we can fire the syntax like this for example marks of 0 marks of 0 will get me this particular element 45 marks of 1 will give me 60 right so the elements of the array can be accessed by using this subscript notation so we can write like this marks of in the square bracket i where i denotes the index number right so this is called as a subscript notation thanks a lot for watching the video